I'm at Carlo on February 13th, 2020. And although a very sad occasion, that day, you, Carla, made the world of difference to my family and I. You cared for my cousin, Stephen Ward, following a horrific road traffic accident in which he sustained significant brain injuries. From the outset, it was clear that the injuries were at the very least life limiting, but more likely not survivable. And just one day after his accident, it was confirmed that Stephen's brainstem had died and that we would need to say goodbye to him forever. The time in which I experienced your care was very short, not even 12 hours. But within that time, you showed a care and concern, not only for Stephen, but also for myself and all of the family who were trying to deal with the shock of the accident and understand the consequences thereof. From the moment we walked through the door, you took the time to explain everything to us, perfectly adapting the way you spoke to us, e.g. simplified or a bit more technical, based on the things we said, the questions we asked and who you were speaking to. You also took great care, not only identifying who we were and the relationships to Stephen, but also all the little details about other things which we hoped the team would be able to consider, such as our grandma's Parkinson's, the fact that it was Stephen's niece's birthday and step-parent relationships, but also the fact that we had been here before as Stephen had, had, had suffered a brain injury following a cycling accident age 15. So much information for you to take in in such a short period of time and on a very busy ward, but you did. You spoke to my mum and I about Stephen's current status and helped us to fully understand as we had heard varying reports from other family members. The kind and caring yet completely honest way which you spoke to us at that initial chat helped to not only prepare us for what was to come but also allowed us to support our other family members, most notably Stephen's sister and his mum. And all the while you were caring for Stephen affectionately, not as if he were a patient in a coma who had just, you had just met some hours previously, but as if he were somebody you had known for a while, explaining what you were doing, treating him with such dignity and care as if you were a member of the family yourself. I'm almost certain that you will simply say that you were just doing your job. But for us, it didn't feel like you were merely doing your job. It felt like you put your heart and soul into caring for Stephen in his last hours and simultaneously caring for each and every need of the individual family members. And there were seven of us after all. And all that, not only in a very professional, but especially in a personal way. Losing a family member in such tragic circumstances is never going to be a good situation, but you truly made a difference. Whilst you couldn't change the outcome, nobody could. Those few hours of your care took away many of the uncertainties, making it easier to approach that inevitable, devastating outcome with a certain level of calm and peace. You gave us a feeling of security, knowing that we could ask you anything at any time and that you would take the time to explain, and in the full knowledge that Stephen was in the very safest and caring of hands at the same time. You expressed time and time again how you wish things could be different. But you did make a difference, Carla. You made a big difference to us on that day and also now, looking back half a year later. Whilst we still feel great sadness at losing Stephen, at the same time we remain forever touched by your kindness and care for Stephen, but also for us. And it's for this reason, Carla, that we nominated you for this Daisy Award. Because what you did that day was not just your job. You did far more than that. You didn't just care for one person, but for eight. And you made the worst possible journey that little bit more bearable. We can't thank you enough for that. And we can't think of a more deserving person to be honored with a Daisy Award. Award. A simple thank you isn't enough, but we hope this award will serve as a small sign of our gratitude. We can't think of anyone who deserves it more than you. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts.